M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at my M0FXB console dashboard for my low earth orbit satellite tracking ground station. And this is my live console and anyone can log into this. Just go to TinyGS, I'll put the link in the description and you will see all of the satellites around the world actually. And one of them will have my call sign on it and then you will actually see the packets that I am receiving from other satellites and it look if you look here on the top it says confirmed packets is 352 i am active now the last packet was four hours ago which is a shame but i am active and I, you can see i've put a screenshot of my helltech version 3 into this video which i'll just quickly show you there is information on the oled but it's not very clear on my little webcam here but there is information there but really you would just use your phone or your pc because it is working via a just a link here on my so anyone can access it with a you know with this same link that that is tiny s.com station and then my call sign and the number of my station so quite a lot of information that you can get from this but at the moment we're seeing the uk here look there's my ground station we can scroll this is me doing this scroll around look at the different satellites it looks like there's one on the trajectory there okay see that there and we can see that we're online and we're listening and when it does actually change the frequency of the Helltech version 3 because you know what is a Helltech version 3 what is a LoRa board it's basically a mini radio receiver transmitter very low power but these satellites are above us at a low orbit so we can get to them and with our ham radio call signs we're allowed to and so these are the satellites that are coming through i'm guessing they've got them in the order of the next one to pass i'm just looking through here received by 199 stations if you click on it you get this And then we've got the a whole menu here, look, packets, active satellites, swarm satellites, Starlink. I mean, Starlink have got a lot of satellites and they are LoRa supported, but look at the frequencies. They're, they're, these are on 137 megahertz. I didn't know that. So if I put my radio on 137.845, Will I be able to listen to this? I can't. I don't think my LoRa device does that frequency. But if you purchase one of that frequency, I'm sure it would. Inactive future satellites. So I'm guessing they have to register register these before they get launched. The launch date? No, it has been launched. So all these have been launched. Let's just click one. I mean, it's way more fascinating than um, just receiving, in my opinion. A few messages um, of hello using different systems I'm finding this way more fascinating I zoom in and I, I'm pretty sure there I am I click there's my call sign as the nearest person to me hello to 2E0IKK and there's me, M0FXB, and I click my call sign, and this is what you were doing. We're back to my original dashboard, and I am live. Let's click these graphs. Telemetry packets five, and then some, look at that, 61, and at one time, 68 packets. And come on, that's good, isn't it? And I can actually log into my account, which I'll try and do now, because the device I've got actually sends out an IP address and it's written on the screen I'm just looking now I wish you could see the screen clearer but it does say GS M0 FXB let's put that here and I'll sort of read see if I can read it Laura and it's given a frequency of 436.26 which is changed by the software then you see the world planet sorry the world map <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to find the um, last packet information. I'm just trying to find the actual IP address. 
There it is, 192.168.0.114. So let's put that in. 192. And you can do this with your device. You know, it is very easy to upload the firmware. I'll show you the firmware link. So there's my station I can log into now. Um, okay, so if I click the top one that says station dashboard, I need to log in. So if my, I just put my call sign and my password. I got to remember my password now. No. Don't worry, I won't forget. Okay, sign in. Okay, the username is admin and then your password. And so we're, we're not just going to see the good bits in this, we're going to see the errors as well. Well, let's just have a look. It says M0FXB version MQTT server. That's us connected to the internet. You do need a username and password for that, but you get that automatically given you when you type something into Telegram. So join that. And then we're listening right now. It says we're listening to Polytech Universe and we're on 436.55. Let's starting to listen. Um, and then you can see see all the different ones. Sometimes it says wrong frequency. Look, but look, starting to listen. Each all these different satellites. On the sat owl. So yeah, that's my history. That's my dashboard. Enter a command. I don't know what to do. See, so got a little red dot there flashing at the top. Not sure why. I don't know if you can see that, but it's on the actual map. But anyway, thanks for watching. I just, you know, just log in and have a look at this board. This is uh, interesting, I think. See the satellites. And it's just fun. You know, do we need to do this? No, of course we don't. It's fun. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.